Police Department under federal investigation over abuse allegations. Some officers accused of humiliating and even beating detainees at a warehouse. Several lawsuits now filed. ABC's Steve Osinsami explains. State your name, first and last name. Jeremy Lee. Federal investigators are asking anyone in Baton Rouge who's ever been held by local police and brought to this large white warehouse to call them. <gasps> All right, that's what I'm wondering, bro. I'm going to keep you out of this cold, bro. Officers from a street unit this morning are accused in a federal lawsuit of sweeping police brutality and are seen in these newly released body camera videos plaintiffs say were recorded before and during their interrogations. <laughs> Authorities were forced to close the facility, nicknamed the Brave Cave, last month after the reports of police abuse, including a complaint from a 47-year-old woman who says she was sexually humiliated for over two hours in this same room in June and then let go. I know I'm going to get the pills back because I got prescriptions. No, 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 no. What happened there is unconscionable. She was then strip searched. There was also a visual body cavity search that was performed upon her. In a federal lawsuit, lawyers for 22-year-old Jeremy Lee say that after this video was recorded, the police officers turned off their body cameras and then beat him so badly that the local jail refused to admit him until he was treated by a nearby hospital. There he was treated for broken bones and other injuries. You didn't tell me my rights or nothing. I don't have to. I didn't ask you nothing. Stop right, incriminating. Cool, it doesn't look like anything that you would associate with normal policing process. I mean, it looks like something out of a mob film. Police brass have now shut down the street crime unit, and the officers have been moved to different beats. The same former officer, the son of the deputy sheriff, has been accused of excessive force in a number of other cases. Baton Rouge police say they find all of this troubling, that they're working with the FBI, and that they expect more people to come forward. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.